I've always had a special heart, I guess, for the underdogs. Always for underdog people and underdog dogs. And God has sent both our way, the way of Walk by Faith Ministry. And I think of these dogs, one in particular that is now in heaven. And I think the message that the Lord gave me through that dog story is that it's never too late to know the love of God. And I think of my own story and it's hard not to get choked up because by all means, I should be dead today by the choices I've made and the things that have happened. In a nutshell, I was broken and I was lost. I went through some childhood trauma, as many people do, and I ended up um, alcoholic, anorexic. I was a self-mutilator. I cut myself. I burned myself. I hurt myself. I was hospitalized. I ended up on a psychiatric ward. I was suicidal on and off for years. I was chronically depressed. I had was diagnosed with post-traumatic stress disorder. I ended up with an Ivy League education on welfare with food stamps, charity care, long-term disability, um, curled up basically in my closet in a fetal position, wanting to die and having flashbacks of my past. And today I am 100% free. I have a life beyond anything I ever could have dreamed of. And I can't think of anything better to do with the heart that the Lord has healed than to give what I should have been giving all along which is his love. You helping mommy to learn how to, oh, you gave me your first kissy. Good girl, thanks for the kiss, Glory. You might not be able to see, but you got a ton of love to give, don't you? You all helping each other out too, aren't you? It's no matter how downtrodden we are, how broken we are, how messed up, how ugly, how maimed, how hurt, how handicapped, how disabled, how fallen, we are how much we've sinned, how many mistakes we've made. The Lord is there with his loving arms waiting and his loving heart and he wants to forgive us and he wants to give us his mercy and he wants to heal us. And when we come to realize that Jesus is the Son of God and that he came onto this earth for us in the flesh and took the world's problems and sins upon his back and died and rose again for us and we confess that with our mouths and believe it in our hearts, then we are given free because he paid a, a free ticket to heaven when we leave this earth but we also get to live a life on this earth that i think so few people are truly getting to live and that's just a life dedicated to the lord and a life where we get to give and love and serve and it's just it amazes me and i watch these dogs and i think you know they know how to walk by faith the way we are called to to walk um, they don't look at their challenges and they don't look at their hurdles and obstacles and they don't focus on their circumstances. They see the prize before them and that's what we're to do with Christ. And they get up and walk. And that's what God is, is saying to us is get up and walk, rise up and walk and live the life I've called you to live. And we can come to him no matter what we've done, no matter what mistakes we've made. And we can say, Lord, in the name of Jesus, forgive. And Lord, I believe that Jesus is your son and that he came to this earth and took my sins upon his back and died and rose again. Lord, will you come into my heart, Jesus? And will you give me the precious gift of the Holy Spirit? And can I have the life that you want me to live?